At six, it's big and bold and honors a Civil War hero. But a local lawmaker wants the General Hooker sign removed from the entrance of the State House or the wording change. She spoke with our WBZ's David Robichaud. The words do catch people's attention. General Hooker entrance. Some, like these California tourists, think it's comical. I mean, we laughed, but we weren't offended. Exactly. It's funny. And was always called these derogatory names. But State it's Rep. Long. Michelle Dubois doesn't see the humor in it. She finds the double entendre offensive. This morning on Twitter, she asked followers if the sign should be taken down. She even used the hashtag MeToo. Female staffers don't use that entrance because the sign is offensive to them. The statue of the Civil War general who was born in Hadley, Mass, has been up for over a hundred years. The giant sign is newer. Representative Dubois suggests that by simply adding the general's first name, Joseph, to the sign, it would eliminate the possible association to the world's oldest profession. It's just a little semantics, a little wordplay that some people find very charming and funny but I find can be hurtful. Some believe the word hooker, a slang term for a prostitute, got its origins from the Civil War based on a group of women who allegedly followed General Joseph Hooker around. We asked the historian for some clarification on that. It's not true that it was started because of him. It predates the Civil War. They were really talking about the camp followers, the prostitutes, and other um, shady characters hanging around his headquarters. Representative Dubois says she won't file a bill to change the name, but she hopes her fellow legislators will sign off on it. At the State House, David Robichaud, WBZ News. Okay.